All right, we are Walker Road Revelations. We're out here today to share some of the good news. We'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas. And just a joyous day, no matter where you're at, what's going on in your life. God is good. God is good. This is only temporary. You hear me? This is temporary. We got free will, you folks. Can't use the with, uh, you have Come on. Will. And my dad is. Uh, Let's get you some soup, brother. My shirt. Joy, love, peace, believe. Okay. Stay blessed, brother. What's the last one say? Christmas. I think they should have put the words on this shirt the other way. Because the very first thing that you need in order to receive is faith. You need to believe to receive whatever it might be. Faith, hope, and love starts with faith. Can you receive it today? Can you believe it? That this is only temporary? That there's about to be a turnaround for you in your life? This doesn't need to be permanent. But you've got to make that choice today. social media and I, and I hear people some people saying well you know December 25th that's not really Jesus's birthday okay. and so they are so focused on trying to get that date right that they miss the whole point of it scripture talks about the angels and what they said good news for all men that the light of the world has come to live in your life and in your heart today and that the truth of that can bring this change in your life to allow you to be helpful useful purposeful to help you to forgive to let that thing go that offended you, whatever it might have been. How about you let that fear go today? What about the shame? Let it go. You are a child of God. God is your heavenly father. He loves you and he is waiting for you to come home today. Don't worry about the day. It's every day. Jesus said, "Light your, let your light shine forth before the wor world, that your good works might give glory. God loves you. Know that. He doesn't care. He doesn't care what you've done, what you've thought about doing, what you're going to do. He don't care about that. He loves you right where you're at. He knows. He knows everything. He knows all your tears, all your pain, all your sorrow. He knows your joy. He's waiting for you to come home today. Soup we got to warm your belly. But that good news of Jesus, it'll warm your heart. He loves you. Amen. 
Hey brother, good to see you. Merry Christmas. Wife was talking about that spiritual stuff. And a lot of Christmas is commercialized and about material things. And that's most of our gifts, because that's all we know, right? But Jesus has taught us the secret sauce of living. Me and my wife know about it, don't we, wife? Yeah. Yeah. Woo! It's these spiritual things that you can't buy. It's the best stuff. Like a good hot soup right here on Christmas morning. Some people didn't even get that. They didn't even get to hear about this good news. Maybe they're on a different corner and can't hear it. It's cold for a lot of people on Christmas. Because Christmas is about sharing. And if you ain't got nobody to share with, it's a pretty cold, I guess. I reckon it is, ain't it? But the good news is Jesus gives you that warmth. No matter who, don't care. Because you don't care. There's one person who cares. And God is a person. He's not an energy formula. He's not just an idea. He's not an abstraction. He's not some guy with a big beard guy taking notes. God is a person. He's a father. That news in itself is so powerful. It's so transforming. Most people look right over it. It's too simple. It can't be just that, right? We gotta sacrifice something, right? You do. There's a couple sacrifices you gotta make. You gotta forgive. You gotta have faith. That's it. That's the price you pay for this. For this family. Hey brother, you hungry? We got you some soup if you're hungry. Yeah, he's hungry. What's your name? JP. Nice to meet you, brother. Merry Christmas. Yeah. This is the day that the Lord has made. On this Christmas, I'm going to recommend, just recommend some things for you to think about. The birth of Jesus. Not just his birth, but his death and how he faced his death. And after that death, he was resurrected. Because we all need a resurrection. And on Christmas, I don't know what better day for that to be birthed in us. Just like Jesus was birthed that day. Whatever day it was. No matter what day it was. And that, ain't, that ain't important. What's important is that we celebrate it by his spirit of his life. It touching us. The flavor that only we know how to give away because he touched us in a personal way. He'll touch you in that way too and you'll be wanting to share him too. You'll be wanting to share this goodness. It's infectious and it's transforming power. I don't know if you know this, but Jesus get a hold of you just like some heroin or something. Just like some crystal meth or just like some alcohol. Jesus get a hold of you. He will. You should be very concerned what he'll do to you because he will change you. He makes caterpillars, butterflies. Tadpoles, frogs. You don't know the time? No. Yeah, you see where I'm going with these metaphors? Yeah. For the people. He is for the people. Jesus is for all the people. He's the one person that's for all the people. He don't have no agenda except for loving you, wishing the best for you, honoring your free will choices to the best he can, and not giving up on you. That's what Jesus does for us on Christmas and on every day. Let every day be like Christmas. Let every day be birthed in new experiences. Because what the gospel does, the gospel of sonship with God, it creates in you this ability to know for sure that it ain't about my theology, it's about my experiences. It's about me taking this seed inside of me and, and activating it and believing in it and walking out through it. Walking it out. Walking out our faith. Walking out forgiveness. Walking out our destiny. That's what Jesus brings us. Merry Christmas to that. 2022. And you know the next year, we don't have to wait for the new year to come in. We can start right now. It's a big mistake we're always waiting. Waiting, waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. What you waiting on is so important is stopping you from your destiny. Don't you know that you don't, tomorrow's not promised? A meteor could fall and hit you right in the square in the head today. Kill you dead right where you stand. Anybody, that's me too. Tomorrow's not promised. 
The gospel of Jesus is the gospel of now. Today, this very second. And I know this gospel, it's penetrating some hearts right now. There's some people sitting there looking at the snow and they're thinking, they're hearing this. They're thinking, is that me? Yeah, that's you. That's you. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whenever you are, that's you. So this is our recommendation. You don't have to do it. You can wait till you get perfect. You can wait till you're righteous. Or you can do this and say, here I am, Father. I stand before you, unclean, just like everybody else. You know my heart. Here I am. Use me. Use me. Father can use you right where you're at. You don't have to go to college and learn the Bible stuff. You don't have to carry around a Bible. You don't have to be a Bible expert. You need to be a Jesus expert. You need to study him. Quit saying biblical all the time. Say spiritual. It's, it's high time we start being spiritized by Jesus Christ. Not biblicized by theologies about him. But we have a relationship with him. Yeah. We got some hot soup. Come get you something to eat. God is a good, good father. He loves you with an infinite love. If you can believe that today, then you're in his family. He expects a couple things from you. For you to stand up, face your problems. To pick up your mat and walk. If you can't see, he expects you to look through a new lens and see through the fog and look again. He says, look through my son, Jesus. I sent my son, he and Jesus, to your planet to show every human being and every race and every tribe and every culture this one truth that the Christians have missed. God is your father. They've covered it up with napkins and theology. But God is your father. That makes you brothers and sisters, if you believe it. With everybody you see, even the bad people, you might they might be lost. Maybe if we, instead of we see wicked people, maybe we see lost people. If we see through the eyes of Jesus and try to think the way Jesus thought, try to react the way reacted well actually Jesus responded he never reacted to anything reactions are all initial and we all got them you can ask father to change them or you can ask yourself to, to not respond to your reactions to transfer them every time you have that reaction don't give in to it don't don't wander that garden give it a minute and you'll come around to the right response ask Jesus to transform the way you think, so the things you can think about start expanding your horizons. If you don't understand, that's okay. You don't have to have a PhD. You don't have to have anything, except some faith, except a heart that cares. It's a good, good day. We're celebrating Christmas today. What better place than here, right? What better place than now? I can't think of nowhere better. Letting this good word penetrate. Wherever it goes, it goes, right? You can't define it. You don't know who's getting it, who ain't. But I can tell you a secret. You can tell who the spirit moves. Some people claim to have the spirit while it's moving them in bad ways, while they hurt their brother, while they talk trash about people bring people down they say the spirits with them Jesus said though you could know them by their fruits yeah what about that how how cool is that you have the power to see do, if you know what good fruit is do you that's why we're here on Christmas this needs to be birthed in people's hearts the good fruit is Jesus look at him look how he responded to people that's the good fruit that's what we should be chasing. That's when we make disciples of that. Chasing that life. I like what Paul said, it's, it's a race. I, I, I really get that. But it's more like a, a it's not a speed race. It's, it's not the fastest. It's like when you, something's in your garden and you try to make it grow too fast, right? It don't grow right. <laughs> Look at our GMO food, they, they, they've messed with it. 
this gospel grows slow, slow as we go. That's what this good news does. Now, sometimes it's transformative in a second. Some people are born again and got a vision of Jesus. He'll land right in front of them and tell them what they're going to do. Yeah, he did it to me, so I know it does happen. You just don't have a lot. I don't know why. You tell me. I don't know. I don't know everything. And that's okay. We just need to be able to say, I don't know. Jesus coming back. When he coming back, preacher man? I don't know. He's already back. He already back. Well, I tell you, that's what we always do. He already here. We don't care about when he coming back a second time. I mean, we care, but we ain't wasting one second on work waiting on that because he already here. Jesus is supposed to live in people. There's a lot of Christians that claim his name, but he ain't living in them, in their hearts. Or you know why I say that? They'd have good fruits. That's how you know, good fruits. I mean, ain't good all the time either. You see me in traffic, I always say that. But I've been getting better anyway. Yeah. I'm working on my stuff. Work on your stuff too. That's what Jesus brings us, that power. That spiritual power to be a spiritual superhero. Yeah, that's what we're going to call you to do. Not only help yourself, get off your butt and help your neighbors. Yeah, while you're waiting to be, to get into Jesus' family, you should be helping while you're waiting, right? We tell you don't be waiting on nothing. Get in Jesus' family and then start helping too. Yeah, that's how, that's how it works. So many people waiting, 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 waiting on the world to change. What's that song waiting on the world? Waiting to change. The world to change. Oh my goodness, it's, it's so simple to me. I, I try to convey it to people. Not every mind sees it this simple. I, it boggles me that people can't really see how easy it is. Jesus said it was easy like a little child could get it. The guy at Harvard won't get it, but a little five-year-old will. How in the world is that? I'll tell you how it is. God's a father. Man's your brother. Jesus is the way to that. It's always been the same ever since he came here, and it's always going to be the same. Generation after generation. And right now, we got to figure out in this generation how to use Jesus' life transform our own souls individually which will help the collective you want to save the world save this save that save yourself <laughs> seek first this family you'll have every, everything else you need it'll be given to you and the things you don't need you'll be given that strength and that power to sit them down would you like to set your, your pet evil down, whatever it is that you think is keeping you out of this family? What if you ask God to help you with that today? Have you considered just asking him, Father, can you help me set this pet evil down? And if you believe it, the family, then guess what? That's what sure that it does. Absolutely does. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Everything. Everything. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. God bless you. This is Chris. So I feel his power today. He's so warm. Jesus is so warm. You can't tell he's moving us. You don't see electricity, but when you flip that switch on, it works. That's the way Jesus is in people. You don't see him, but you see it in people. When he's when, they, when that switch is flipped, you see what happens to them. They're more loving. The more understanding, the more dedicated, the more faithful. And they want to, above all else, share this good news. They'll be late for work for it, like I am now, on Christmas. Yeah, not even sweat. I like to say God is the creator, bender of time and space. So Richard, don't you worry about being a little late today. I think it'll be all right. I think you get there right on time. Just as uh, most of my days go, it's right on time. Sometimes I can be frustrated or worried or uh, get caught up in the silliness of things. Am I gonna get there on time? What's gonna happen when I get there? Am I gonna be in trouble? <laughs> so big, one of the big messages that Jesus brought was also fear not. That's right. Fear not today. Don't worry about it. 
Is it going to matter in a year? Is it going to matter in five years? Are you going to remember it? I'll tell you, there's a, a, a day in my life that I haven't forgotten. And that was the last day that I drank. And I remember waking up on the floor of that jail cell. I didn't know how I got there. I didn't know what I had done. There was probably a good chance I had killed somebody with my actions and behaviors. Thank God I did not. But in that moment, I got down on my knees and I said, God, take this from me because I can't do it anymore. And I was trying to do it. I was trying to control it. And it wasn't always a bad time. A lot of the time it was a really good time. But those times that it wasn't, those are those things that have a tendency to rise back up in my mind. That want to drive me to go back to what I was, to what I was doing, to how I was living, to the things that I was running away from. God set me free in an instant from that. Not everybody is so lucky. Some folks have to work at it. But I was done, and I couldn't do it anymore. I was at the end of my rope where I wanted to take my life. So I didn't care about my two boys, or my dad, or my mom, my job, my family, my friends. All I cared about was myself and the pain I was in and the fear I felt, and the remorse, and the regret, and the unforgiveness. But God has allowed me to step outside of myself, to see myself from his eyes, to see myself as his child, his daughter, And all he was doing was waiting for me to come back home. Reach out to him. And he was there. And he's there 24-7. Know that. Your words do not fall on deaf ears. God sees you. He knows. He's waiting whenever you're ready. Doesn't need to be a special day or a special occasion or any special reason. Whenever you're ready, God is there 24 7 to be everything you need. Scripture says, Seek first the kingdom and all else shall follow. Everything in your heart's desire, those things will follow. True peace, true joy. Are you tired of your brain running rampant? Are you tired of those thoughts that just go around and around and around and around and around and around and, around and they never end? You can't seem to get out of it? Are you tired of that unquenchable thirst? I understand that unquenchable thirst. I understand weeping and gnashing of teeth. I get it. And like my husband was talking about, those fruits of the Spirit will be evident in your life. And just like any tree, fruits take time. They take time to mature. They take time to grow. There are seasons for fruit. And it'll be the same thing for you in your life. It's progressive. It's not perfection. Know that those little steps are so important in your journey, in your walk. 
A cherry tree takes five years to start to grow fruit. And every year and every season, that fruit gets sweeter and it produces more. And your spiritual life is like that. I know many of you out here know Jesus. I know many of you out here know God. I know that. You love God. You know who you are. It's okay today to get to know God a little better. There's so much more to him. And that's that difference between having a religion or a philosophy or a belief in your life. That's that difference between that relationship with God and your belief. Trust God today. Get to know him. If you want to nurture any garden or any relationship, what do you got to do? You've got to spend time on it. Do that today. Spend a little time with God. You can do it anywhere, any place, any time. You don't need a church. You don't need a building. And you don't need a book. Jesus came and when he left, he left his spirit. That spirit is available for you today. Ooh. That's right. Can you receive it? That's right. Receive it today. God loves you. Get to know him a little bit better. Ask questions. My husband said that we have to come into the kingdom like little children. Little children always ask questions. Woo! And you can ask him anything. Are you <laughs> He's got some amazing answers for you today. God loves you. You stay blessed. We love you. We are Walker Road Revelations. We come to bring the good news.